Oh, I needed that. Man, I nearly had a heart attack. That was tense. We can't keep 1-0 in games. Uh, I don't think any of us are cut out for Manchester City to 1-0 these games. But we 1-0 the next 12 Premier League games and we win them all by a goal to nil. We win the Premier League and they're the facts. Um, as I said, I don't think any of us are ready for that. But last couple of games have taught us that. That's what Manchester City uh, are aiming for. So, uh, what's going on guys? JSGC here. We're here for another Manchester City match review, match reaction and match analysis. As City beat AFC Bournemouth away from home in the Premier League by a goal to nil. We're going to digest all the talking points. Uh, and we're going to make some assumptions based on that. So before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe. It is free to subscribe. Subscribe. Also, don't forget social media links there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below. Finally, I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is brought to you by Football Prizes. They're running a very special prize. It's made up of a signed shirt from both Phil Foden and Jack Grealish. It's a dual signed Manchester City shirt display with LED lights. You can go and enter the prize draw. It's £3.95 to enter. You can enter as many tickets as you want. The links and details there in the description. They have 14 instant prizes running as well, which also include individual shirts signed by both Phil Foden and Jack Grealish, plus lots of other cool prizes as well. And you can go and check out all the other prizes that they've got available on their website as well. As I said, I will leave the links and details. They are in the description. So, Manchester City they win this game by a goal to nil it's good enough we need to be winning games it doesn't matter how they come as I said it, all that matters is Man City winning our next 12 Premier League games we've managed to do so here we've avoided a yellow card for Pep Guardiola we've avoided a yellow card for Rodri so hopefully now he will be available for all our games in March without worrying about that two match suspension because he's just two yellow cards away from a two match suspension Pep Guardiola is just a yellow card away from a touchline ban so that now goes on for another game where we don't have to worry about that. Uh, also, Manchester City pick up an important three points. We grab another goal. We keep a clean sheet. There are some positives here. So, we get the three points. It's all that matters. I'm happy. Everybody else is happy. We can move on from there. But, unfortunately, that's not how the world works. And uh, people will be looking for perfection and there will be people out there of course suggesting uh, whether you agree or not with them but they will be saying that Manchester City they're not playing as fluently or as well as what they can and at some point Manchester City with how we're playing are going to come a cropper and better teams I don't mean that as disrespect to Bournemouth Bournemouth played a very good game a beautiful pressing game they attacked Manchester City they just weren't clinical in front of goal I thought Bournemouth did everything else very well they didn't park the bus like i was expecting they were in the channels pressing marking winning balls in the air running running and more running it was high pressure high intensity football this wasn't an easy away match for manchester city and i'm really happy that we've managed to come out with a with the three points going up against any team away from home in the premier league comes with different complications bournemouth uh, vitality stadium close compact ground it's not easy Fans are well up for it. We grabbed the opening goal, which is always a massive bonus. We haven't grabbed the killer two-goal cushion that we always look for. And because of that, it leads to complications. It leads to difficulty. And it leads to Manchester City putting themselves under tremendous pressure that Bournemouth very much were knocking at the door of the Manchester City goal. And thankfully, we managed to keep the clean sheet. Although I think everybody's stress levels uh, are through the roof. And as I said... Uh, we go for another 12 games like this. I can imagine me and many more fans out there having heart attacks because it is stressful. So hopefully we can start to see Manchester City being a little bit more clinical in front of goal and finding uh, them goals that uh, if we are picking up wins, they're going to be a little bit easier than what they were this evening. But to me, this was a good three points for City. It's a difficult away match under tremendous pressure. We picked up the three points. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, uh, Haaland probably should have scored um, very early on with the one-on-one -on -one opportunity on his right foot. Doesn't get it right. Weren't clinical in front of goal. I thought Haaland, if he were, probably could have had at least a couple of goals and City probably could have scored three or four goals. But 
Bournemouth probably could have come away with a goal or two if they were feeling clinical in front of goal. At this time of the season, this business end of the season, beggars can't be choosers. You know, we need to be winning games. We need to be scoring at least a goal. And we need to make sure that we're keeping clean sheets as well. So from that point of view, we've done that. It's a big tick. And uh, you have to walk before you can run. You have to be able to win games when you're not playing particularly well to win Premier League titles. You need to have the ability to 1-0 a game because if your attack isn't on it, scoring just one goal should be enough to win a football game. And the last couple of games have demonstrated that City are capable of doing that. But when you go up against the next higher calibre kind of teams and players is where Man City have been coming unstuck. Dropping points against Chelsea. Look towards the earlier parts of the season when you're going up against the teams that sit in the top, what, top five, top six. Points get dropped because not only have they got the confidence, but they've got the players as well to match pound for pound uh, in intensity with Manchester City, which means the thing that City have on all these teams is the quality in front of goal. And if City aren't showing that quality, we won't win them games. Now, it's great keeping clean sheets against Brentford and against Bournemouth. Big thumbs up, very happy with that. But we've got United, we've got Liverpool, we've got Arsenal coming up. Maybe we've got Brighton away as well, depending on what happens Tuesday night in the Cup. So these are very difficult games. I see these teams potentially scoring goals, maybe more than one, which means Manchester City need to be clinical. They need to book their ideas up and quick. We've got a game against Luton. Maybe a goal to nil is enough to win that game. Man United without Hoyland. Maybe a goal to nil is enough for that game. Get past there though. Champions League latter stages. Liverpool, Arsenal. One nils. Very difficult to do. You have to be very defensively sound. You have to create not much and put something away. We need to be better is what I'm getting at here. Man City are capable of doing that. We need to start taking confidence, taking games by the scruff of the neck, and we need to start being clinical in front of goal. And when opportunities are there for us to put games to bed, we need to be taking that opportunity. It helps with confidence, it helps with goal difference, it helps with fans' blood pressure, it helps with everything. So hopefully City will start to do that and we'll start to see more fluent, confident, comprehensive performances from Manchester City. Right now, one nil are enough. one nils will be enough from now to the end of the season. It's just, it's not how Manchester City do things. It's not going to finish 1-0 Manchester City every single game from now until the end of the season, which means Manchester City need to start finding that uh, killer, lethal touch in front of goal. We need to start getting players like Haaland, like Bernardo Silva, Jack Grealish when he comes back, Jeremy Doku. Then we need these players firing on all cylinders. Kovacic, Nunes, given their opportunity today, we need. I need to see more from them in my complete honest opinion because, uh, you know, Kevin De Bruyne will be watching that performance and thinking, I'm not under too much pressure for me to be starting the Manchester derby and uh, starting at Anfield against Liverpool because he's not, because he is a calibre of Above where everybody else is there are selection spots available for players who are considered squad players and when they're given their opportunity I want to see these players grabbing that opportunity with both hands starting with Luton Tuesday night there will be squad rotation in place players will be given their opportunity I, if I'm Pep I'm telling them players you put in the solid good performance you will start the Manchester derby let there be a reward for good performances. I want to see more from City squad players, starting with Luton on Tuesday night. Nunes, Kovacic, I start them. I want to see more from them. Uh, Rico Lewis will be given his opportunity. Hopefully he can grab his opportunity with both hands. Jeremy Doku, I'd be starting him as well. I want to be seeing more from Manchester City. Maybe Pep Guardiola might be tempted Tuesday night to start to tinker with things a little bit. Maybe a Doku on the right-hand side or something along them lines. Uh, just to try and give City more options when it comes to these latter parts of the uh, season and competitions for places get uh, ramped up like no end. Jack Grealish... He shone at this point in the season last season. It weren't goals and assists that he was shining in. It was Jack Grealish's ability to do the right thing at the right time. And right now, we need all 11 players to be doing the right thing at the right time. We saw glimpses of it today. I want to see more of it on a consistent, regular basis. One player I was super impressed with today, 
John Stones. Every blade of grass must have been touched by John Stones in this game. He was everywhere. He was phenomenal. Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva, they were running everywhere. And that was because Bournemouth's pressing game was so good. And Bournemouth have shown today, you don't need to park a bus to make a competitive game with Manchester City. You can go toe-for-toe -toe with Manchester City as long as you are prepared to be patient, press and play a good football game. And that's what Bournemouth managed to do. And it was refreshing to see. And it made it a nervous ending to a game. It wasn't a Parker Bus team who just eventually conceded a hedge drop and they've not got the quality in front of goal to hurt Manchester City. Bournemouth soaked up, absorbed and tried to counter-attack Manchester City. Didn't quite have that clinical touch in front of goal. Chelsea, when we played them at the Etihad, did. Very similar approach from them. They were more defensive than what Bournemouth were today, in my complete honest opinion. And so I can see more teams going along with that style of play. So Manchester City, if they want to try and stop teams from dictating how some games are, are, are being directed in, Manchester City need more control. And nothing gives you more control in a game like scoring goals, putting your opportunity away and being clinical in front of goal. That is, to me, the do-all and end-all. City tightening up at the back, keeping clean sheets, good to see. Not conceding as many goals, big thumbs up, need to get the ball into the back of the net, be more clinical and see where we go from there. Luton, Tuesday night, focus on that. Then we'll start speaking about the derby at the weekend against Manchester United at the Etihad Stadium. So there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, do leave a thumbs up. 100 likes is the aim. Also, don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and a big shout out to today's video sponsor football prizes as i said do go and check them out links and details they're in the description they're running a very special phil foden and jack Grealish dual signed manchester city shirt with led lights and a frame so do go and check it out links and details they're in the description 14 instant prizes as well as individual signed shirts for jack Grealish and phil foden to be won uh, so do go and check it out links and details they're in the description there's 399 tickets available you can buy as many tickets as you want tickets three pounds 95 as i said big thank you to football prizes anybody that does interact with them does help to support the future content created here on my channel uh, and as i said big thank you to football prizes for sponsoring this video so i will see you all again real soon for the next manchester city video so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well mm. ah. tastes like three points peace ciao for now <laughs>